What's good, Tube, and welcome back to another tutorial by Big Al's Barber Channel. This is our special edition, the quarantine tutorials, guys. Welcome back, guys. I hope you guys are all feeling good today. Today is a fine Wednesday here in Big USA, guys. We are all still on lockdown. Nothing to do, but hey, I'm dropping these tutorials here, guys, to help you guys out. Way I, I, I've been noticing the tutorials have been hitting a different uh, level of people like maybe some beginners or guys out there trying to do their own haircut guys so i'm gonna throw this one down more to the basic basic basics okay guys i'm gonna explain this what i'm doing right here guys is i'm using a number four and you could do this on yourself if you were doing a self cut basically you're just going to use your number four comb your hair in the direction that it's going to be combed uh and you just run the four up the sides right off the sides like if you were wearing a crown around the head imagine if you were wearing a crown around the head They'd be the bottom of the crown and the top of the crown. When I went with that four, I went up to the top of the crown and just kind of did like a little C cup motion. On this haircut, what we're doing is we're doing a zero fade, guys. So what I do is I grab my balder right there, just a regular balder, and I turn it upside down and I'm going down and I'm creating my first guideline. For those of you guys that don't know, balders are exceptional, exceptional machine for doing this, guys. For starting off your fades. If you do this with the balder, you will never mess up your trimmers because your trimmers, if you do, your, if you use your trimmers to do this first part right here with all that hair, you're wearing down your blades, you know, they won't last as long. But with this balder, man, I've had this balder for like two years and never changed the blade on it or nothing. And it still cuts like butter, as you can tell right there. So I created my first guideline. From there, we're going to fade up for the, for you beginners or you, if you're trying to do a fade, uh, this is a zero fade. So you can see I went all the way around with the zero took all the hair down to the bottom just created a first guideline that's your first guideline everything below that is going to be bald so you want it nice and tight we're even going to shave it after at the end we're going to come back and shave it with the with the machine get it nice and smooth from there what we're going to do is we're going to grab our number one blade lever open on the machine and you're going to go right up to the body to the bottom of the crown remember if there was a crown there it'd be the bottom of the crown right there take it to the bottom of the crown maybe the middle of the crown Get it all nice and light right there. Then I close my lever. Now it's a, now it's a number one. When you have a closed lever, it's a number one. When you have it open, it's it's one and a half. You do the number one, and you're just pushing the bottom the bottom line up, trying to fade it out, trying to fade it in. Once we do that, we're gonna come back with our clipper over comb, and you're gonna just level that out, guys. If you're doing a home cut, guys, I wouldn't recommend you do this with this. If you're doing trying to do a home cut, you would use a. I, then we started with a four, so then you would go a three, a two, a one and a half, and then the one and a half clip, and you try to fade it out as best as you can right there. But for this video, for you barbers that are you're learning how to do this, the best way to do it is clipper over comb, guys, because that saves you time, saves you, you know? If you had to do steps like I just explained, then it would take you a lot longer. But if you were doing, uh, if you're using this in the barber shop and you're a barber, you know, this is a tutorial for a barber, then, you know, then you could easily do this with uh, the clipper over comb. The clipper over comb, guys, is just, it's just repetitious. The better, the more you do it, the better you're going to get at it. See, so yeah, I leveled that all pretty good right there. There's a, kind of a shadow in the, in the center right there, but I'm sure going to come back and clean it up. So I'm just coming back with my one and a half. See it trying to lighten it up. See the little shadow I was talking about? Just lightening it up because I know that's the one and a half right there. And when I come up to the line right there, I'm pulling up like a C cut motion. So that way I don't create another shadow there. Right now I close my lever and I'm again focusing on the bottom, just lightening up the bottom. Once I take that off, I'm going to take off my clip. I'm going to, well, wait, well, maybe. Yeah, what my, that's going to be my next step. But right there, I'm just kind of doing a little bit more detail with the clip over home. The comb that I'm using right there, guys, that one is, yeah, it's my steel tooth comb. Steel tooth comb is a private company. And there's a link on the bottom. Uh, they're great combs, guys. It's, just, it's a metal comb, it's real thin. It's perfect for clipper over comb. Now I take off my lever, machine uh, lever open, no clip. I'm gonna go right up and I'm gonna create a little center guide right there. See the little shadow? Now I close my machine a quarter way and I'm gonna go back to the same exact spot. Pushing that, pushing from the bottom, pushing that shadow from the bottom up. Just scraping it and pushing it up. Now I'm the machine's halfway closed and I'm only gonna go halfway up. Going only halfway up. Concentrating on that bottom line, trying to fade out that bottom line. Now I have it closed and I'm just 
pushing the bottom line. Just pushing that shadow, trying to push it, trying to erase it. It's not gonna all come up, so I'm gonna come back with my trimmer. And this is my skeletalized trimmer right here, GTX. Uh, and basically what I'm gonna do is just lay the blade down and scrape it and erase that bottom shadow. Just comes right up. But don't just go up and stop. You gotta go up and pull up. See how I'm kind of pulling up? Like It's kind of like a C-cut motion again. Pushing the bottom up, just cleaning it up. All you have left now is you have the little center shadow right there. That's your half shadow which you created when you went up with a half. Remember there was no clip on it. Now to erase that, what you gotta come back is you gotta come back with your clip on, a half clip, the gray one. Lever open and you're just gonna go along the side. C cut motion, close it a quarter way and you, as you go across, you're going a little bit shorter and shorter. And now you're just fading out those center shadows right there. See, I'm just how I'm pushing on the shadows. And what I do is just push them up, push them up. If you push it up, you're going to push it up and you're going to erase it. But you don't want to push too far up because then you want to create another shadow. So it's, it's all about just repetitious, guys. This is so repetitious. For you guys out there trying to do this on yourselves, this is a difficult haircut, guys. But, you know, if you follow these steps and if you can follow those steps and do it on yourself, or if you have somebody who could do it for you, then it's possible also. For you barbers that are out there and you're wondering why I'm talking to um, self-cuts right now is because right now I think there's a necessity for for, for self-cuts and that's going to be a video I'm going to be coming out within the next couple of days, guys. I'm going to show you guys how to do your own haircut on yourself. On yourself. Now, I'm not going to do myself, but I'm my, my son's going to do his own hair and I'm going to demonstrate how he should do it and we're going to walk through it and I think it's going to be a great video for anybody out there that needs help right now getting their own, cutting their own hair. So right there guys, I'm going up with a number one lever open and I'm just creating another guide. That's my first guide. First I went with the four, remember, we already went with the four earlier. So it's a four and then I went up with a number one, with another uh, one and a half. Man, that sucks, my, my camera didn't uh, focus right here. It's focused on the back, if you notice the back screen, how clear it is, it's focused on the back screen and not the, uh, and not my, um, my uh, what I'm cutting right here. So what I'm doing right there basically guys is I'm using my steel tooth comb again and I'm just leveling it all out guys. I'm going from the one and a half to the number four. If you guys didn't do this, if you guys wanted to do this on your uh, uh, on your on, on yourselves then I would do, recommend you do steps. So you would go four, you go three, then two, and then one and a half and it would shoot, and it should it just blend right out. But right here for, for barber steak where you are doing clipper over comb so we're blending it all out. I could tell right there, pretty much blended out. So now I'm gonna come back with my one and a half again with the lever open, and I'm just gonna push that little center shadow out, out of the way right there. Oh, this is horrible, man. Can't believe this happened to this video. So what I did right there is I'm coming back, lever open, no clip on there, it's a half, guys. I created a guide, you can see I created a guide right down the middle. It looks horrible right now, but it's gonna get better. And I'm pushing the shadow from the from the bottom up. I'm pushing from that bottom or initial the initial guideline. I'm pushing it up as you can see. As I'm going across, I'm closing my lever, and I'm just pushing the shadow up. Uh, that stuff it came out very because this is a good shot right here too. But you can imagine it. Uh, just the, now I have the lever closed and I'm pushing it up. As you can see that the, the shadow didn't complete, complete completely come off. So now I'm gonna come back with my trimmer again, and I'm just gonna push it to the middle. As I come to the middle, I kind of C-cup it. Pull up, pull up. You don't just go in there and leave it there. You gotta pull up. Well, I hope the next shot doesn't look like this, guys. So how's everybody handling this quarantine, guys? Let me know, let me know in the comments. I wanna hear some people's stories. What are you guys doing to pass the time off? Right here, guys, you have that center shadow right there. As you can see, it's dark in the middle. All I'm doing is raking that center shadow with the half clip lever open. Now I close my clip quarter way. Now I'm going through the same thing, same motions all the way across. As I can see, you can see it lightens up towards the middle. Still blurry, but it lightens up. And then now I have it machine probably closed. So now I'm just fading it out, pushing it out. I can still see kind of a shadow up towards the top right there, but I'm sure I'm gonna come back and clean it up. But this is the same concept, guys. This is a fade, zero fade. Um, you know, this, this fade right here probably took me about 25 minutes. This young, gen, this young, good-looking gentleman right here is actually our sweeper at our shop. You know, he's our one of our he's been our customer for a long time. My good buddy Josh, I want to give him a shout out. What's up, Josh? Hope you're staying home, and being a good boy, dude. Um, yeah, so right here we're doing again number one 
one one and a half and we're just creating a, a guideline going up to the middle guys see i comb it in the direction it goes and from there i'm just gonna uh clipper over comb it like i said you could do steps if you wanted to if you're doing this self haircut you'd have to go three two one work your way down to the one and a half but for barbershop sake i always use clipper over comb clipper over comb is the fastest way of completing this haircut and as you guys know, time is money. So if you want to get make a lot of money, then you got to be a, get, get fast, guys. And the way you get fast is just experience, just repetitious. You know, the more haircuts you do, the faster you're gonna get. After you do fifteen hundred haircuts in one day, then you'll you'll probably have a, a system of cutting hair, because that's what it that's what it takes to be a fast barber is have your own system of cutting hair have your own system of knowing what your ha haircut is you know and like i've always said haircut is like a chess game you always gotta know your next step you always gotta know your next two moves so right there i'm going with a half lever open i'm creating that guide again and i go across close my clip quarter way and i slide it across again being at the barbershop look at people walking in and stuff you know walking by the door open uh. so right here guys never uh using my gtx pushing that shadow up don't worry guys we're all gonna get back in there it's just a matter of time guys you just all gotta do our part stay home do our, you know what i mean right there i saw that there was a secondary shadow so i'm going up lever halfway open and i'm just cleaning it up yeah, I noticed I switched over to a, uh, I, mean, I didn't even know if I was using the other quarter machine. Now I have my half clip and I'm just going to go across that shadow right there, guys. See that? Just dragging it across. Lower my lever quarter way. And I'm focusing on the center shadow, just dragging it across. As I go across, I'm going to lower it another quarter way. Now I'm halfway and I'm just focusing on that center shadow, just pushing it up, pushing it up, pushing it up. Just blending it in. Like I tell when I'm teaching somebody, guys, this, this is like, it's like sanding a wall, you know? It's like a wall and, and it's not like even and you have to even it out and make it smooth so that it all blends in. It looks uniform. It goes straight up. With no hair at the bottom, no lines at the bottom. Tight fades never have that, you know? You, you got to get that bottom line out. That's the that's the hardest part of fading, guys. Once you're, you know, like it's weird. So now I see some people learning how to fade and, and they get the bottom line out easy. That was my hardest part when I was learning how to fade. It was getting the bottom line out. I remember when I was first learning how to fade, I remember sending out a couple of sick chili bowls. So they had a rainbow all the way around, guys. I'm not even lying. I struggled when I was learning how to fade. Fading didn't come easy to me. It was a, it was a challenge, you know. It took me a good, I think, a good solid year before I was like, all right, I got this now. I got this. And then it still took a long time before I got quick and got better and better, you know. It just, it's just repetitious, guys. The more, the more haircuts you do, the more time you put in at the shop. Be the first one at your shop, the last one to leave, you know. Greet everybody. When somebody walks in your shop, you always say, hey, what's up? It's up, man. Because you know what? They're going to remember. They're always going to remember that you say hi to them. They might not be your client, but you know what? One day they're going to they're gonna say like, oh, Aji's cool, man. I'm giving him a chance, you know? Or when your barber's not there, or their barber's not there. It's so important. Customer service is the most important thing, guys. Right there, guys, I'm using is I'm using the Bronze Series 9, and I'm just, you know, just pushing everything up from the bottom up. You know, I'm going to open it up right there. Uh, clean it up. I can see there's no more hair, so now I'm just gonna push. And I can see the shadow where I where I kind of went with the zero. So I'm right there. When I get to that spot, I kind of do a little wiggle move. If you guys notice, I'll go like circular. But like I was telling you guys, customer service is the most important thing, guys. If you have a good attitude and you perform a good service, even if your haircut is not the best, if you have a great attitude, a lot of times, you know, the the client's gonna come back to you for that very reason. I remember that. I, I remember when I was first cutting and I would get nervous and I was nervous. You know what I would do? I would start talking to the client and just just get a good rap going with them, man. Just like, you know, baseball, football. Yeah, it's important to always be a knowledgeable barber, guys. You know, know what you're talking about. No, no, don't speak nonsense because then you're going to scare people out of your chair, you know. It's always to keep, you know, it's, it's even better to keep PR. Don't even talk about uh, politics and religion because, you know what? Everybody has a different view on it, so it's always better to keep that stuff out of your combo at the barbershop. 
and we try to do that at our shop but even then sometimes politically and you know, we have other barbers that we don't see the same political things but we try to keep <laughs> sometimes we go at it though but at our shop because you know my, my boys we, we get along good you know, my, my shop it's, it's we have a super chill a, a atmosphere like we we, we 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 talk shit to each other you know? we're always you know there's always we're always pranking somebody or or there's always somebody you know we're, we're, we're bagging on or who or something going on on tv or you know whether it be tony or be you know biz or or raul or even when j-lo's there you know it, 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 it's, it's just that's the that barbershop atmosphere that's a barbershop feel you know clients like that client like you know they it's like the movie you know it's, it's, seriously the movie is so accurate you know the way things happen in, in, in the barbershop movie is it's so accurate you know everybody's always talking crap or you know or sometimes we're listening to music and you know in my shop we, we, we listen to a lot of music i like to put a lot of music on my, my music of choices is reggae all right guys right there what i'm doing is we're gonna start cutting the top the top we're just gonna take off a little bit if you notice right there i took off of maybe like half an inch created my first guideline down the middle i'm just going towards the back i'm gonna come back when i lift it up right there i'm gonna pick up that same guideline right there see that i'm just gonna go back to where i just went I'm just pulling up, up to the guideline and whatever sticks out, I'm pulling it up, cutting it off. Super simple, super easy, super, 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 super quick. Of course, this is my sweeper right here, so he really can't complain about his haircut. Although I know he doesn't, he never, he is always a very appreciative young man. Uh, he's an excellent sweeper too. He's probably the best sweeper we've had, other than my son Dave. My son Dave was, he was, he's in the Hall of Fame of sweepers. Now he's gonna be he's my apprentice now. Yeah, so we're finishing it up right here, guys. So we're, we're, I've been rambling on right here telling you about the barbershop. This that's the way the barbershop is though, you know. My barbershop we're chill, you know. We all listen to music. We all like different types of music too, but usually I control the radio at my shop. I, I'll let them put on music, but they never try to. They're my guys my guys at my shop, they like the, the movies. They want they wanna be watching movies all day long. If, like lately, that's all we do is watch movies or TV shows or, or stuff like that, or they get into a TV show and you know. But once in a while, like when it gets around four or five, you know, when it gets five, five o'clock, four o'clock, I'll, I'll try to sneak in my radio, especially on Fridays and Saturdays. I'll put on some music and you know, we'll either listen to rap music or we'll put on the radio current current music or I like to listen to reggae, Cali reggae, so you know, like Revolution stuff like that, Stick Figure. Those are all my kind of groups. So that's the kind of music I like to listen to. Yeah, but my barbershop is super chill. I, 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 I kind of miss it right now. Really, really miss going to work. Three weeks. Today's 20. Today's number day. Today's 22 days for me, guys. 22 days that I've been out already. So right there, I'm just kind of combing his hair back. I already cut it. I cut it from the front to the back. And then what I did is I checkered it from side to side like I always do. Make sure everything's nice and uh, nice and level. And right here, what I'm just gonna do is I'm gonna blow dry his hair on top. That way I can see what sticks out on the sides. I have to go back and do a little bit of clipper over comb, a little detail work just to clean it up. On top, he just he just usually throws pomade or gel, he says, and just pushes it back. Super simple, super clean, guys. This is a clean haircut. When a young man comes in and he tries to get a, a, a taper, I usually try to talk him into a fade. Why? Because I think they last longer. And me, I like to do fades more than tapers. But if they insist on the fade, then yeah, if you do, I mean, the taper, we do the taper. But say a, a kid comes in and he has sideburns and he wants to keep his sideburns, what do you do? I do, I try to talk him into a taper because a taper is way better than, than a regular sideburns. You know, like I was talk young gentlemen, like, why do you have, why do you have a, a sideburn? Sideburns are for old people. You know, you should have a taper. And nine out of ten times they'll let me do it, and nine out of ten times they love it. You know what I mean? I mean, I've had one guy say like, "Come back and the next time," and he said he loved it, but went home and he says like, "Oh no, I need my cybers." Okay, no problem. But you know, you give them those opportunities. You do that to your hair consultation. You you explain them to your the options that your client might have. What you what you think is gonna look better? Because you know, like ultimately, I've I've had people come in and show me a picture of a chili bowl and say, "This is what I want," and I'm like, "Whoa, no, 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 come on, man." That's ugly. I'll tell them straight up. That's an ugly haircut, man. I, I can't even do that. You know, like, but you know, if, if you always ultimately want to give the client what he wants, you know what I mean? But what I'll do is I'll do my version. I, I, I'll always tell him I'll do my version of that haircut. But I don't want to do that. That looks horrible. You're like leaving a, 
he's leaving you a line all the way around the head. Like, no, nah, I, I can't do that. Your haircut when he leaves my shop represents me here. Uh, and I can't, I don't want to put something out like that. And then people are going to think like, whoa, what, what happened to you? You know, <laughs> that, that's my opinion, guys. But a lot of times I've learned to give the client what he wants you know you know i mean i remember when i first started working sometimes like i i, I used sometimes like, you know a client wants a certain haircut and you think like oh it doesn't look good like and you try to fix it try to give him a better haircut and in the end you know i by 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 first hand it's happened to me where you do something different and the client doesn't like it and they, that's not what i asked you for you know and um, you learn you know you learn by trying guys you you I remember my grandfather was a barber and, and his reputation I remember everybody used to always say was my grandpa's reputation was that he'd always give the same haircut to everybody you know like no matter what you asked him he would give you especially if you're a young kid he would just buzz your hair you know like that was his thing he would buzz he just they need buzzes you know and he would buzz you and he always hit his way and, and a lot of people would get upset a lot of moms would get upset at him you know and just, but I remember my, my mom used to get upset because she would say like, oh, just clean them up a little bit. And, and my, he'd say, yeah, 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 yeah. And he'd get on, we'd get on the chair and he buzzes. He'd do his haircut. But that was my grandpa. That was, you know, that was his, his style. He was, you know, an older gentleman. And when you get to be that old guy barber, that, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> I've seen that happen to me firsthand with me sometimes, though, guys. I'm cleaning, I, you know, I'll, I'll be doing somebody's hair. And, um, and I think, like, I'll tell him, like, okay, how do you like this? And uh, instead of him saying, like, oh, can you take a little bit more here, a little bit more? I don't know if they, they just intimidated, they, they to the point where they don't even, oh, oh, yeah, it looks good. And I always wonder, like, man, I hope he's just not saying that. I hope he really, really thought that it was a good haircut or, or exactly what he wanted because I want to give him what he wants, you know? Ultimately, I want to give with the client what he wants. So, guys, right there, we're, like, rambling on. We're right there, guys. What we just did is a little bit of clipper over comb around the edges. Remember, I blow-dried it so that I knew how it laid back. Now I'm putting some uh, gel on it right there. And I'm just going to do some just final cleanup, a little clipper over comb. Just make sure to see everything's tight. It looks good. That's how it was, though, back in those days, guys, you know, in the barbershop. You know, I remember going to my grandpa's, and, you know, they were just older guys. And, you know, they were honoring Everybody respected them. That's how barbers are, though. You know, you're a barber. You you, you 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 represent your community, like my community. I represent my shop. When people walk in, you know, you you have to have that commanding you. You know, you always greet everybody, guys. Greet, oh, man. That's the biggest thing is greet everybody. You know, you stand out. If you stand out, people are gonna remember you. People are gonna know who you are, especially at the shop. You know, at any shop. So that's why it's always good to be a good person and just be humble. Talk to everybody. You know, be a good person. And um, people eventually will, will, will gravitate to you, you know. So right here, just doing the last final clip roll of a comb. Trying to clean them up as best as I can right here. So tell me guys, how much, do you guys miss the barbershop too? Or is it just me? Because I, I know I, I'm missing my shop a lot right now. It's already been three weeks, 22 days for me today. I think today's 22 or 23, but man, it's just sitting here at the house, waiting for these loans to come through, hopefully, you know? God's willing, we'll be taken care of. If not, oh my God, we'll see where we wind up at. <laughs> so right there, I'm using my number one and a half, and I can see I'm just trying to clean up that side, just fading it out, make it look as nice, as tight as possible, guys. Remember, the name of the game is look good so you can feel good so if you do that to the to any client in your chair they you're guaranteed then come back come back to you the hustle and bustle of the shop right there watching the guys in the background now oh man hopefully we'll be home be back to work soon guys all of us all of us right there last couple of steps Right there, just cleaning up his neck to finish off his haircut, guys. That's it for this video, guys. I hope you guys are staying home. I hope you guys are being safe. I hope you guys are doing the right thing. Make sure you guys follow up. If you guys need to file unemployment, make sure you guys do it. Don't go out there, guys. Don't be doing haircuts. It's not worth it, really. It's not worth it. Nothing's gonna nothing's gonna change with one haircut for you. Um, at this point, it's getting worse and worse out there. I wish you guys all the best. I hope you guys are all staying home and do some homework, do some videos. Um, remember, I have another vlog channel on my uh, on my other YouTube channel called Big Al and Lisa Marie Vlogs. We are vlogging every day, 
and I'm dropping mad recipes over there guys if you guys want to learn how to cook from Big Al you guys want to see what I'm up to go on my other channel guys but with that being said God bless stay home and I'll see you guys mañana